Okay, kindergartners, today we are going to make the L page for our animal ABC book. And if you didn't guess already, we are going to make a lion. So these are the things you, these are the pieces you need that are in your um, Ziploc bag. You will also need a brown crayon. And of course you need your glue, scissors, and something to put your trash in. So we will begin by gluing our letters on the L's in the upper right hand corner. So get a little glue, put some glue dots on, and then we will go ahead and glue our um, fun fact at the bottom of the paper. Lions are called king of the beasts. A lion's roar can be heard five miles away. That is very far. I think if I, there was lions here at Pearl, I think I could hear the lions at my house. That's pretty amazing. So we're going to glue the words to the bottom of our paper. Okay, once you have that done, we're going to use the large largest brown rectangle. This is your lion's body. Hold it in a vertical position and we are going to cut off the, only the top two corners like that and then you can magic cut those. Once you have that done, like I said, this is your, your lion's body. We're going to glue it kind of in the middle, but not touching the words. So I am going to put glue dots, four in each corner, and then glue that in the middle, a little ways up from the, um, the words at the bottom. Okay, the next piece I'm going to use is the brown square. And this is your lion's head. We're going to cut all four corners of this and magic cut this. Did you, kindergartners, did you know that about 95 years ago in the city of El Monte, they had something called a lion farm there? And that was a place where they had about 90 lions and they would, um, they took care of the lions and people could go visit the lions. Isn't that interesting? Okay glue on the back and we're going to put the head up at the top of the um, body of the lion. Okay, the next piece we're going to use is the small um, rectangle and these are going to be your lion's ears. We're going to fold this in half And we are going to hold it in a horizontal position like that. And then I am going to cut just the top two corners. So one here and one here. And then I'm going to magic cut this. Could you imagine how noisy that lion farm probably was? I can't imagine it all those lions roaring at one time. Okay, so we sh you should have two ears now. We're going to glue these um, where the ears would be on the lion. So we're going to put one right there and then we will put the other one on the other side. And right now your lion's probably going to look a little bit like a teddy bear, but it won't be a teddy bear for long. Okay, the next piece we're going to use is your very thin brown rectangle. This is your lion's tail and we are going to put some glue dots on the back. We don't need to do any cutting and we're going to be sliding it under the lion. So I'm going to take the corner and slide it under the lion and have it sticking up. Okay? So that was pretty simple, just glue that rectangle on. Okay, the next piece, you have two pieces left. 
um, one short and fat rectangle and one longer and skinny. We're going to use the longer and the skinny rectangle. These are going to be your lion's hind legs. So those are the back legs. We're going to fold this in half and we're going to keep it in a horizontal position. We're going to cut only the top two corners and magic cut those little points. And then if your piece is still together, you're going to cut it on the fold. Okay, so these are your lion's hind legs. They are going to go here, but we're going to slip them underneath the um, body of the lion. So I'm going to turn that over and I'm going to slide it underneath. And I actually want to bring it all the way down here to the corner of the body. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Like that. So now we have one last piece to go. And this is going to be your lion's paws. So we're going to fold this in half, get my trash tray. We're going to cut all four corners. Did I already tell you these are your lion's paws? So then after I cut the four corners, I'm going to magic cut all those little points. Oops, a little too much. And then if it's still together, when I am done, I am going to cut it apart. And now I have my lion's paws, and each paw is going to go right up here in the front. Okay, so I'm going to put some glue on like that, and glue one here, and some more glue dots, and glue this one right here. Okay, now this, oh, you know what? You also need a black crayon. So a black and a brown crayon is what we're going to need. We're going to start with the black crayon and we're going to make the lion's face. So I am going to put some his eyes, ovals, where the his eyes should be. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put an upside down triangle and color that in because that is going to be where his nose is. And then we're going to give him the animal smile. So draw a short line down from the um, triangle and then draw half of a smile going one direction and half of a smile going the other direction. I'm going to add five dots because, and then I'm going to add um, three whiskers. One, two, three, one, two, three, on each side of your um, lion, his face. So we're done with the black crayon. Now we're going to use the brown crayon. I'm going to add a tuft of hair at the, at the end of his tail. Oh, you know what? I just realized we need the black again. I'm going to use the black and I'm going to give my elephant some paws and I'm going to or some claws on his paws. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my brown and I'm going to draw a line up from his um, paw from his um, paws to make it look like he's got his two legs here. okay? Now lions live in the savanna and the, there's a lot of grass. It's very flat and a lot of grass. And the grass frequently, instead of being green, is brown. And so we're just going to kind of add some tufts to make it look like he's out in the savanna. And that's how lions are camouflaged. Um, remember I told you that I, oh, and now we're going to add a mane for our lion. Remember I told you I went to Kenya? Well, I have a very interesting story. 
we, when I was in Kenya, we got to go on a safari, which was really cool. And we were driving around in the Jeep. And um, you're supposed to mostly stay on the roads. And the animals on a safari always have the right of way. So we were driving along and um, our tour guide decided to pull off the road and he turned onto kind of just grass. And we just missed hitting a group or a pride of lions that was sitting there in the grass. And our Jeep was about five or six feet away from the lions. Um, it was pretty incredible. And they were just kind of sitting there looking at us, and we were sitting there looking at them. I think there was maybe, oh, six or seven lions. That was pretty interesting. Okay, so um, we are done. So we have our lion's mane. You can tell this is a male lion. And you can turn your picture over and write your name on the back so I know it belongs to you. Okay, hope you enjoyed that.